Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our project title is Parallel Frequent Item Set Mining with Spark RDD Framework for Disease Prediction Our project abstract This algorithm to decide to perform all small chunks of data These limitations were imposed based on the time that they were developed The notation of big data was not of the running these times This algorithm want to perform well on the current statistics of data present. So we propose a new approach of implementing this well known algorithm on a parallelized manner so that we can handle the data perfectly. The proposed work parallelizes dynamic frequent item min mining algorithm faster IABA with the Spark RDD framework. The main goal of selecting an Apache Spark is to overcome the limitations of Hadoop architecture which is basically designed to handle big data processing in parallelized manner. Our project flow diagram. In this project, we have the three processes for the patient registration and admin process and donor process. In the patient, register login into the server. After the login, user enter the patient details based on the electronic medical records and, and get the donor details based on the already stored from the server. Donor and next admin register. Administrator is nothing but Admin verify the all the user and store the data from the all the user to the server. And next admin be a donor and be some details based on the what are the people sir registered into the donor and what are the people sir registered into the patients. And next be a predictive patient details. Suppose the patient sir send the details to the admin, admin view and predict the details based on the user electronic medical records, health records and next we have treatment for symptoms the symptoms and treatments is based on the user given disease based symptoms be sent to the patients and next donor details donor details means nothing but donor provide the blood to the other patients suppose the donor already registered into the uh, volunteers and a prediction. prediction is nothing but what are the patients needed for the blood and find the disease. Find this is nothing but already we choose the data set from the network and download the data and choose the data to the disease based predictions. And we have treatment symptoms is based on the disease based predictions. Let's see the demo of our project. First, we will run the home file. So process for the donate, donor and the admin and the person and just we are going to use the admin process. As the existing admin and new admin, new admin and enter your name and get the ID. This is our ID for the admin and enter the password. Need to launch this successfully and admin need to log in. This ID under the ID will generate and under the password line process successfully and this is our admin panel. We have person details under the person will be entered here and we donor details. This are donor details and we have disease person. Select the stage one disease based on the users and stage two users and we have symptoms for the users and what are the treatments for the users and back next to the treatments. This is our person event. This is our Karthi and we have Jenny. This is this our person events and pre-treatment and post-treatment only there. Suppose so we are going to update the treatments. This is a okay. Update details. We have updated successfully and back. Okay. And next, and next we are going to the person events for the new presentation. And get the ID and pass and enter the mail ID. Okay, this is very nice. Um, here. This is successful.
simply okay this is a some name and choose image We are going to see the donor details. The new donor registration. The new donor registration. Enter the name. And get the ID for the donor. Enter the password. And enter the mail ID. What the number of times blood donated? Ten times. Or last date of blood donation. Address. Yes, sir. This is display and on the ID 5 and enter the password login login successfully and give donor details what are the donors will be registered here and patient predictions choose data set data set will be the patient prediction based on the user selected is a diabetic allowed to HDFS I will be loaded into HDFS and map and reduce task. Map and reduce process is running in the background process. Okay, map and reduce task will be finished here. Under the concerts, so the task will be completed here. And next, we are going to view and view data. And next, load data and find disease. This is our disease which have disease and store values. Value stored successfully. And next, load data and find the stages. These are the stage one which is the stage two users store values. Okay. And next, under the symptoms, this is stage two users. We view the symptoms and view the treatments. And back. Here, patient details. What are the patient details? And we do not details. So, this is the donor will be here. Okay. Our project demo is completed. Thank you for listening.